Montec are becoming a bit of a beautiful budget brand, just like your mother, they're on the cheaper side. But that doesn't mean they can't perform where it counts. An interesting design with some cool features that I've been after for ages, and uh, hint guys, this case effing rocks. Are you excited? I am. Oh, and another thing, we've got an RTX 4070 hot off the presses, especially for this one. The dexter side of pleasure is pain, and so the dexter side of enjoyment is boredom. So here it is, unboxing. Oh wow, look at the way it comes out of the box. Look at the luxury packing foam. Nah, boring. Let's unwrap and check out the goodies inside. We've plumped for the white version today, and we'll design it with a white periphery and black core components. But, 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 that's for later. First, we need to explore the case. And being the boring old biddy I am, we'll start with the cable management side. It gets no love, but it's crucial to a good build. You're gonna spend a lot of your time here. In the bottom right, we of course have our power supply mount. Plenty of room here for even the largest power supplies. Nice to see. To the left of this, we've got a drive caddy. You can put an SSD on the top and two HDDs in the caddies. The whole drive cage can also come out if you don't want it. Bog, blooming, standard. Above the power supply mount, there are two slots for 2.5 inch SSDs, so you can cram an impressive amount of storage into this case. To the left slightly, and we see the cable management channel. I thought my rage had been quelled when NZXT stopped using that idiotic plastic cable routing nonsense, but I am incandescent with rage, because here it is. Oh, this stuff really annoys me. There's no need for this. Simply having the three cable loops would be plenty. Those channels are fine for standard cables, but as soon as custom sleeved extensions come in, it becomes a huge pain in the arris because they're too wide and too thick to fit in these columns here. I do not understand this obsession with over tight cable management. It just needs to look neat in the front where you see it and not be god awful in the back. Why spend so much time engineering an intricate plastic channel that you're never going to see anyway. Let's wrap this section up. We've got two fans mounted on the side, which we'll talk about later, but the final thing to mention is the fan speed and RGB hub at the top. It's great to see Montec not using proprietary connectors. It makes it much easier to unify your system and gives you just one cable for each of fan speed and ARGB to hook up to your motherboard. The presentation side is what you see day to day, so it's important that it's visually appealing, and I'm happy to say Montec have dialed it in nicely here, very clean aesthetic. The side fans allow the front and sides to both be glass, which gives it that kind of Lian Li 011D look, but in a mid-tower format. The bottom panels are mesh, which I suppose are gonna help with airflow. Now, I said earlier that the side fans are interesting, and that's because they are reverse fan blade designs. Normally, air flows from the pretty side of the fan to the ugly side with the sticker on it, but this time it's reversed, so you get the best of both worlds. You get to see the nice RGB, but also get the airflow in. Great work from Montec. There's two of these on the side and one over the PSU shroud, which helps cool the video card. The rear 120 mm fan is the normal fan direction to allow good exhaustion of air, but there's so much more good design here. The top of the case will support a 360 mm liquid cooler, which is ideal. High-end CPUs are getting so hot nowadays that your i7s, i9s, and high-end Ryzen's, they do benefit from a three-fan 360 mm liquid cooler. Not only that, but they left bags of room above the motherboard mounts for easy installation and no problems with tall RAM sticks. Yet another great feature on the Sky 2 is the small cutout in the PSU shroud, which allows for neat routing of power cables to your graphics card, yet another inspired choice. The top panel contains a power button, LED slash reset button, headphone microphone jack, two USB 3 and a USB-C. Absolutely fabulous. The rear of the case is boring as usual, but it's nice to see the PCI slots are fully removable, making vertical mounting your GPU much easier. Time for some quick fire stats for nerds, but hold on, because the best bits are still to come. The Sky 2 fits ITX, MATX and ATX motherboards, can support a 168mm tall tower cooler, plenty for the Noctua and HD15, and a 400mm video card, so plenty of room for all your gear. The dimensions are 430mm long by 215mm wide by 490mm tall. But like we always say on the channel, you can't review a case without building in it first. We're putting together an incredible PC for the folks over at PC36.co.uk. 
Ryzen 5 7600 RTX 4070, 32 gigs of DDR5, gonna be real juicy. So let's build. It's the devil on my shoulder. And the mistakes that keep me up. I'm afraid that everything I've done has been a fluke And now I'm running out of luck Yeah, it's been a little rough here But I treat it like a friend Another person that I know won't stay forever So I deal till the interaction Just a moment, just a momentary thing And when I wake up from the darkness There's a song that I will sing I love the peace I found The peace I found The peace I found, peace I found. Sailing the seven seas, looking for the elusive 4070. And a case worthy to hold it. Well, sir, here it is. A fantastic assortment of components that dovetail beautifully for a clean, aesthetic build. The RTX 4070 clocking in with performance around an RTX 3080, which at 550 to 600 pounds is kind of meh. It's maybe a little bit disappointing, truth to be told, because that was the RRP of the 3080 at launch, or well, was a little bit more, but pretty much the same. Pricing is all over the place right now, but I don't see it getting better anytime soon. It does have some special 4000 series features such as AV1 recording, frame generation, these kind of things, but really I don't think that justifies the price. You should be getting these things anyway as time goes on. But as for the case, the Montec Sky 2. Yeah guys, I dig this. Dig it big time. A unique design, I kind of, it's very similar to the Height Y40, but I'd actually say it's probably better. For one, it will support normal horizontal graphics cards, so you're not limited to being vertical. And I actually think it looks nicer overall, not to mention it's about half the price. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me below. But what we can agree on, I hope, is that building in this case was a pleasure. Easy to use, thoughtful design, only really let down by that superfluous cable management channel. A minor evil in an otherwise impressive chassis. I think for £80, this case is a stunner. Not only do you get a unique clean aesthetic, but you also get 360mm liquid cooler support. You get four ARGB fans included. The only downside of those fans is that it's harder to get a liquid cooler with the same fan design. So if you're particularly pernickety, you might want to make a careful choice for your cooler. Do I recommend this case? Yeah, baby. Yeah, I do. I love it so much that I'm going to make it available for builds over on my website, pc36.co.uk. Oh, that's a fun and organic segue to the sponsor. Go check out PC36. 
Check out my other videos, subscribe, comment, be a pal. Later, skater.